What is happening guys it is Nistro here and uh, today I just wanted to talk about um, Pendulum Evolution and honestly I don't think it's a bad set. Now the fact that it you it, it was a structure deck in Japan kind of undermines the whole uh, the whole idea of the set because you know it, it kind of it, it angers some people and you know it makes some people think that Konami's just trying to get our money and you know honestly I wouldn't disagree with you but, um, you know, there are plus sides like, you know, more cards being hollow, more uh, di more diverse reprints like, uh, you know, the Zephyrus and the Klees. But, you know, who cares about Klees at this point? And um, there, like, there's a lot of things that Konami could have did better with the set. And it seems that, uh, you know, the, all the new cards are going to be ultra rares. And honestly from something that used to be a structure deck having all the new cards be ultra rare honestly seems seems kind of scummy you know like it's like we we would have been able to get all these cards for a ten dollar purchase and all of a sudden now they're being ultra rares in uh in a hidden arsenal type set which will pretty much make them um a little more expensive now, luckily for people who want to buy the set, um, this is going to be a set where there's only 10 ultra rares and 50 super rares. So the ultra rares won't be as hard to get unless they're going to be short prints, which I don't think will be the case um, this time around. So that's a plus side. But, um, you know, the downside being is that, again, they're ultra. So they're going to be worth a little more than what they would have been if, you know, these guys were all in the structure deck and these all would have been like super rares or commons you know or you know maybe one or two ultra rares at, at, at most so uh what i want to talk about today is uh one card that should have been reprinted in uh pendulum evolution simply because i think it's gonna not it's not an essential card for magicians moving forward but i think it's something that magicians could definitely use and abuse you know moving forward and it can definitely be, be a strong card to magicians and the card I'm talking about is Miss Valley Apex Avion and <laughs> I, I know that the card kind of died out um, after like magicians first go around and um, honestly I don't think it's that bad of a card it's it's not really that searchable um, and it's it has a pretty balanced effect so you know if you know what Miss Valley Apex Avion does is that when your opponent activates a monster spell or trap, uh, like a monster effect spell or trap card, um, you send a Miss Valley monster from your field back to your hand and you negate the effect. All right. So Miss Valley Apex Avion is level seven, 27 hitter. And yeah, he's pretty strong. He's easy to summon because the scales of magicians are one to eight. So they can pretty much punch them summon um, anything that's like level two to seven and so he would be a real strong resource for magicians because you know with all these strong you know decks running around having a once per turn negate could definitely be very helpful i mean even if it's not kind of if, even if it's not like one of those crazy hand traps like uh you know uh joy joyous ash and uh you know um solemn strike you know it, it it's it's kind of like a one card answer to a lot of things because of how strong it is and you know going first it definitely has the potential to put your opponent in a predicament simply because you have a negate on board and you know that's not even counting all the crazy stuff that the in archetype pendulum magicians can do themselves you know so having a card like that in magicians is actually a real strong um uh, combination simply because of how easily it can be used and I don't think it's strong to a point where it would need to get hit because, you know, it wouldn't be, like, the most game-breaking thing. It can get solemn striked, you know? And uh, it, it, it can be stopped. It's just, um, it would be better if Magicians had it. And so I, I honestly think that um, it, it would have been a real good candidate for a reprint in Pendulum Evolution and it would have been nice if Konami would have gave us something that would have, you know, shown, you know, okay, we know 
this used to be a structure deck, so we're just gonna give you a little something extra. And you know that's how that's how I felt about the Zephyrs at first, but then you know you realize that the Zephyrs were um, reprinted in the Megatons, and it's like okay, I guess you know making Zephyrs more accessible now, you know even more accessible, because you know it's they they were pretty easy to get, but you know making them even more accessible with super rare reprints rather than in the original rarities, I I guess that's fine and dandy for the Zephyr players, but for the Magician players, you know, all of the new cards are ultra rare. I mean, even even if not just the super rare reprints that are probably going to cost like less than a dollar, the ultra rare reprints might be high price. I mean, they may go like, oh, 10, 10 to 15 dollars and um, that definitely might be, that, that might cut the budget part out of this being a, you know, budget deck. I mean, other than the fact you have to get like, um, what is it, a uh, Duelist Alliance from, you know, uh, Maximum Crisis. I mean, I didn't, uh, nobody ex uh, expected Maximum Crisis reprints this early, but um, still, I, I, you know, uh, Duelist Alliance is ki kind of, kind of needed because uh, it searches the two Magician Pendulum cards, I mean, not Pendulum cards, the two Magician uh, <laughs> um, Spell and Trap cards for, uh, that are going to be in the new set, uh, the two Pendulum Graphs. And those are pretty amazing cards as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, Apex Avion is, uh, is is really something that would have been appreciated and would have really helped uh, the budget players, you know, have a bit more accessibility in the deck cause, and, you know, have a bit more power in the deck, you know, because I'm always thinking about the budget players in the game. Because, you know, me being a budget player myself, it's, it's easier to, to see through that perspective. And uh, I think this that would have been an amazing choice on Konami's side. Now, I'm not saying that I don't hate that, or that I hate the reprints in Pendulum Evolution, because um, honestly, if you saw my video earlier this week, it's like, I, I think these are fine. I mean, Zephyr is, I mean, out of nowhere, uh, uh, hollow metal foes, or more hollow metal foes. And, um, you know, uh, the the Hollow Dragon Pit, uh, I've been in Dragon Pulse, I've been waiting for those for quite a while because I thought those should have been Hollow from the very beginning. But, you know, still, I mean, it's it's, it's still a lot of good cards in there, like Pendulum, no, not Pendulum, uh, Archfina Centric. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it, honestly, I, I, I think that the set is well right now, but it would have been better if, um, you know, Apex Avion and maybe a few other cards uh, was reprinted in the set. But yeah, I mean, you know, as I said before, you know, this used to be a structure deck. So I think Konami really should have put more thought into uh, the different reprints that they would put into the set. But um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, this was Nisho here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nistro out.